In this video, we will start with integration of trigonometric functions. You will find this on page 5 to 6 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Integration of trigonometric functions. In chapter 11, we learned how to differentiate some trigonometric functions. So sin became cos. Cos becomes negative sin. Tan became 6 squared x. Okay. And if there was an a, then it was um, a cos, so just like this, but just this, just writing that value in front of x in front. The same here. So it was just bringing the a, also the negative a, sin and then, and the same here. So basically it's the same pattern. You see it's the same. It's just every time that they, the value in front of x, they write in front in front of the function. Okay. So since integration is the reverse process of differentiation, the rule for trigonometric integration are, okay, so cos, cos, cos became sin, okay? But now it's not negative sin, it was just sin, and but the negative must come in, and that's why it's negative cos, okay? And then sec became tan, okay? And then the same here. It's the same, it's just now, instead of just the constant multiply in front, it's 1 over the constant, basically just the reciprocal. Okay, so note x is in radians. Integration of trigonometric functions is performed only when the angles involved are measured in radians, as in differentiation. Okay, let's look at an example too. Find the following integrals. So in this case, what am I going to do? So remember, cos, cos, what did cos become? Sin. Okay. So it's a half sin 2x plus c. But remember, sin becomes negative. Okay. But it's negative a third, the reciprocal of that value in front of x, cos 3x plus c. And then this one becomes, okay, don't forget it's a half. So it's 1 divided by half, which is actually, remember, easy, um, and the reciprocal, then it's 2, tan x over 2 plus c. Okay, I want you to stop the video, and I just want you to do a and b. c is actually also very easy. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Try to memorize this. Try to memorize it like this. Okay, if it's cos, I remember negative sin, and if it's sin, it's negative cos. So, if you know this, then it's easy to do the reverse. Okay. But let's start. I'm going to integrate sin 4x dx. And what is that going to be? It's 1 over 4. And don't forget that that sin is just going to, can you remember? That now it's going to be negative cos 4x. Don't forget your plus c. It's indefinite integration. So it's negative a quarter cos 4x plus c. Okay, let's look at number b. The integration cos x over 3 dx. Okay. So that's going to be, remember it's 1 over a third. Okay, and then what did cos become? It becomes sin. So it's going to be sin, and I rewrite. And then don't forget plus c. And then I take the reciprocal of this, and then it's going to be 3 sin x over 3 plus c. And that is going to be my final answer. 